Hello and welcome everyone to Season 2 of the NASCAR 21 Ignition Career Mode. It's time for the 2022 Next Gen Season. It's finally here. Let's get into your driver and roster changes for 2022. Here's in fact your roster changes. The first roster change is in fact in the one car this year for track house racing. It's the Watermelon Man. Ross Chastain moving the track house racing after a year. Chip Ganassi racing last year did not get a win, but he looks to do well this year. Another roster change this year is in Team Penske, the number two car of Austin Cindric. Brad Kozlowski had an okay final season, a few wins last season in the first season of NASCAR 21 Ignition Career Mode. And Austin Cindric, this is the second full time season, by the way. He ran last year's full season. And the number 33 car for Team Penske, so can he do well in his first, second year? And the number 6 car for this year is Brad Kozlowski. Brad Kozlowski, like I said, had a very decent 2021 season, but he hopes to have an even greater 2022 season driving number 6 for Roush Fenway Kozlowski Racing. He's a part time owner there. Can he do well this year? Here we go. We got some changes in the number 15 camp. Garrett Smithley, David Reagan, and Ryan Pre or David Reagan, Garrett Smithley, and JJ Yaley will actually be in the number 15 car for this year. No, we'll just say Ryan Priest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ryan Priest there will be sharing number 15 there, and the three guys in number 16 this year are will be Noah Gragson. AJ Albdinger and Daniel Hemrick will be in the number 16 car full time or well part time actually this year. And the number 21 car this year is Harrison Burton. Can Harrison Burton carry on his dad's legacy and his uncle's legacy in the number 21? F1 champ Loris Hesemann or F1 driver, open wheel driver, Loris Hesemann will be driving in a part time effort for. Hesman's for Hesburg's racing and we'll be driving the number, number 27 full time this year and number 31 for colleague racing it's their full time operation with Justin Haley in number 31 he moves from Spire to colleague to drive the number 31 car full time in 2022 our next roster change is in fact in the camp of Front Row Motorsports with David Gillen. Last year it was Anthony Alfredo driving this car. And the year before that was John Anima checking Todd Gillen via permanent staple in the number 38 car. This year Ty Dillon moves to Petty GMS. Petty GMS has a team reband and they expand back to two teams with the number 42 car being Ty Dillon. Can Ty Dillon get that first win in 2022? A new team this year, Team New York Racing, and the number 44 car returning for a part time effort. It is Greg Biffle. Greg Biffle comes back to the Cup Series after a six year hiatus. Can Greg Biffle do well in the number 44 car this year? And the number 45 car for this year is going to be me, Dylan Walker. Dylan Walker won the Rookie of the Year last year. Four wins. Those coming at Las Vegas, Bristol Dirt, Martinsville, and Talladega. He moves to the Toyota car this year. Can Dylan Walker do well for 23-11 racing in number 45? Kurt Busch retires from the Cup Series permanently. We will be having silly season throughout this rest of the career. And number 50 car... And this is my driver career mode. Will be Kaz Grala. Kaz Grala, the new team there for the money team. He'll be driving the number 50 car this year for 2022. JJ Yaley will be driving this car for MBM Racing in number 55 this year. And a very beautiful paint scheme, I might add, for a full time operation there. Noah Gregson will be running a. Select few races in the summer 62 car for Beard Motorsports. Brendan Gaughan retires officially, and No Gregson will be going to the number 62 car for some races. I should add. Timmy Hill remains in number 66. See, that's not our roster change. And number 77 will be switched around with two different drivers. His first driver will be Josh Billicky. This was 
Justin Haley's car last year, but with Justin Haley going to Colleague, they now have a second driver in number 77. Another driver's from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, the number 77 car of Landon Castle. Can the other Iowa native get a win this year at a super speedway, possibly? And those are, in fact, all your roster changes here for the uh, 2022 NASCAR Cup Series season. We are doing a new point system this year. No playoffs, and the winner uh, for each race will be scoring 50 points, and last place will be scoring one point. And I'll also be following the real-life 2022 NASCAR Cup Series schedule, and as well as the 2023 schedule, which the track, um, which we do not have Chicago, the Chicago street course on there, so that race will be Road America. So, um, guys want to know the 2023 schedules, look at that and just pretend that uh, the Chicago street course, Chicago street course is Road America. So, we're going to be using realistic commentary throughout this career mode season. And let's go down to Alex Hayden. He has the pre-race show for the Daytona 500. Alex Hayden, take it away. I'm Alex Hayden, welcoming you to the Daytona 500, the great American race. 40 of the world's best stock car drivers are ready to tame this two and a half mile super speedway. Today is about avoiding the big one and giving yourself a chance at the end. The drivers know what's at stake, a virtual playoff lock and a chance to engrave their name on the Harley J. Earl Trophy. teams and drivers have been prepping for the entire off season. Let's head down track side to fire the engines. Thanks as always to Alex Hayden. Dylan Walker has the pull for this race. And here we go. The first next gen car race is about to get underway here from Daytona. Here we come to start. It's going to be Dylan Walker, Brad Keselowski, the 60. Fourth, Daytona 500 is underway. Already troubles with the 45 car there. Brad Kozlowski and Kevin Harvick, the defending series champ, will take a lead here. Walker's holding up this whole line here. Saga, um, this is the rookie of the year from last season and coming around to lead the first lap. It's the six of Kozlowski leading over defending champ Kevin Harvick. Brad Kozlowski will lead the first lap of the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series season. And I think the 45 was having a power issue there, it looks like. Um, not a very good start to his 2022 NASCAR Cup Series season. Shifts up to that fifth gear. These cars have five gears. Unlike last year and years before, where they had four gears. Bowman go to his inside. Got a side-by-side -side battle for the leader between Harvick and Kozlowski. Man, it's glad to have a great weather today, 2500. Last year it was overcast, year before that it was overcast. It's now, this year it's clear. Chase Briscoe moves in the fourth place position. And it looks like Harvick's just trying to go around the six of Kislowski there and he's just not able to do it here. Because right, he probably needs another car behind him. Or, or a car or two there. Let's go on board this 45 here. 
on his visor cam here. It looks like he's just running comfortably there in the third, in the fourth place position here, right behind uh, Alex Bowman. Looks like they're catching Kozlowski and Harvick here finally. But then Walker finally figured out to get that first, uh, fourth gear. Great thing is he didn't really do much next gen testing because he didn't have a team for uh, the 2022 season. He was kicked from Suraz Racing after the first season and was picked up by 23XI. There he goes. Well, that top lane, that top lane seems to be formed well. Walker's in the wall. Walker getting help from his former teammate Chase Briscoe. Now Walker helping Bowman. Harvick making move right here. Doesn't exactly do it. Most of these cars have been running single file today already. Here comes the 45. Walker trying to make that move. Oh, he makes contact with Kislowski and he gets turned around. That'll be the first caution of the year. That, uh, we do not want to see early on here. Green flag back in the air. Walker shifts in that fourth gear there. Right by, he's rubbing his old teammate there. Gets in the fifth gear. Oh, Stuart's teammates, Walker splits them up though. Wow, what a great move that was by him. Here comes Kozlowski recovering after that spin already. Chase Briscoe looking to win the first stage of the year. And by the way, stage points are not really worth anything this year. They're just a break in the race, and guys are going to race crazy for them. So that's how basically that mentality is for the stage finishes. Whoa! The 45 uh, made some significant contact there at the 15 or 14 there and got in the wall. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, it's getting dicey up here now. This 45 car is tuned up this race. I mean, he's fast. He hasn't led a lap all day. Here he goes. He Try to lead the state's on a 500. Single file here throughout the race. He will lead his first lap of the year, the rookie of the year from 2021. One guy we haven't been talking about all day is defending Daytona 500 champ Kyle Larson. I know at the pre-race it's going to say the real-life 2021 winners, but we're talking about the 21 ignition winners here from last year for the 2021 season. Michael McDowell running there in fifth, but Kyle Larson it hasn't even been in the top ten. He hasn't been in the picture all day long, and he won last year's Daytona 500, so... I don't know why. I don't, he says he hasn't really adapted well to his next gen car. Like Larson was astounding in the Gen 6 car. Made it to the championship for last year and his season returned. Didn't win the championship that chip though. That went to Kevin Harvick last season. I don't wait, Larson didn't even make the championship for. He won the season finale race though at Phoenix. And Harvick got second that race to getting him locking himself to the championship. Chase Briscoe up here hasn't won a race in his career yet. I mean, today could be the day. Whoa, he goes up the block there. Going on board here, this visor cam. Not really keeping it straight though, but yeah, we have to, we're coming to two to go on this stage. I just realized that 45 car does not have a single mirror in it. So I think he's just relying on a spotter here to go on stage one. He's just pushing this 14 car. So 
Looks like he's gonna try to peek up there. Nope, 14 blocking. This car's been throwing a lot of blocks today. Looking out the back there. They have pretty much split through the field. There's now they made a tandem of their own here. Yeah. I mean Walker goes to the lead here, he goes to the 40 14's inside. Here he comes off the turn. Walker leads up to one to go in stage one. Watch that Walker breaks the trap there. That's gonna allow Briscoe to come to his inside. Ty Dillon's up in fourth. Wow. Ty Dillon was on a part-time basis last year. This year he's on a full-time basis. Hell yeah. Oh, whoa. There goes the 45 in the wall. Here goes the 14 using that to his advantage. Wow. That just changed everything. Here we come off the turn. Side by side. Battle for second. Oh, the 45 got loose. 45 holds on the four, third. Wow, that was <laughs> something else. Wow, Todd Killian gets the final. Gets the top ten there. Camille gets last. Hamlin running there in 36. Second caution the Daytona 500 winner. We come back to the green. A stage one winner, Chase Frisco leading us back. Look at there, Koslowski. Gonna try to get up here. Koslowski has been involved in two incidents today. Whoa! I think the 45 thought the 6 was trying to turn him there. Oh! Man, the 45 not at all happy with that number 6. McDowell moves the 4th. Uh, Walker's gonna help Kozlowski. I think he is. There he goes to the inside. Whoa! Walker having issues there. Slows out the field and Briscoe with a huge lead. Oh, Walker's in the wall. He's tagging the wall there. Keeps on moving up. I think he wants the six to go around him there. I mean, this is a big, comfortable lead for Briscoe. And this state's on a 500. Oh, the 45's in the wall. Oh, and he goes around. So does Harvick. We got a crash. Harvick, oh, stuck in the grass. Green flag back in the air in Daytona. Oh, around goes the 17. Brisk or Bush got spun out on the restart. What is going on here? We're gonna have a two lap dash here. No, one lap dash. No, two lap dash, my bad. Two lap dash for the finish of stage two. Justin Haley up here now. The 2019 night race winner here. Here comes Walker now. Whoa! 
Oh, we got into Kozlowski, got Kozlowski loose. I think it's time to tell Kozlowski to get a move on. Here goes Bowman out to the lead. Alex Bowman trying to win the stage. I'm in the one to go. Walker takes it to the apron. Whoa, who led that lap? I think it was Briscoe who led that lap. We nearly had a wreck there. Look at this pack. For the stage two win. Oh. Walker has the lead here. Coming around for the final time here in stage number two. Briscoe with a run on the inside, outside. Coming to the line, a hard charge. Walker the block, Walker got loose. Walker is your stage two winner. That was a wild stage finish there. Here we go, it's time for the final stage here. About to get ready for that. Walker, stage two winner. We're underway for the final 18 laps of the Daytona 500. Oh, trouble, trouble. Forty-five having trouble there in the wall. Nearly crashing. My lord. That's the second time the forty-five has gotten held up. And around goes Alex Bowman. He goes spinning in the on the apron. That'll be the caution. Twelve to go at the Daytona 500. Your race recap here: four cautions, five cautions actually. Your stage winners are Dylan Walker and Chase Briscoe, and Chase Briscoe has led the most laps today. I can't remember the last time the drivers led the most laps in the Daytona 500. And he has won it. I mean, Briscoe's been dominant today. No bonus points this year. No stage points. Uh, and I gotta say, this 14's been great all day! And around goes Briscoe! Oh, what a hit he had there. That was a hit. Here we come, five to go. At Daytona. Kozlowski up here now. Slowski makes contact with Briscoe. Kozlowski goes to Walker's inside. Ty Dillon now. Look at this run by Ty Dillon up the third. Ty Dillon, can he get his first career win? We said that he's looking for his first career win in the pre-race show. I mean, he could. Oh, maybe he could. Around goes Keselowski. That will be the caution. There it is. The caution has waving. And we're going to have overtime here. Green flag, two to go in the Daytona 500. Oh, look at Ty Dillon to the lead. Ty Dillon leading the Daytona 500 with two to go in overtime. Try to get Petty GMS their first win as an organization. Organization, by the way, not organization. What the? 
Heck is an Oregon digestion here. Here comes a big run by the 45, trying to get 23x I their first state on a 500, and this is their second win. Walker pushing Dylan. Dylan pushing a Dylan here. That's Ty Dylan. Walker goes to his inside. Here he come. Next flag will end it here. White flag is out after the Daytona 500. Oh, Walker hits the wall. Last year, I went down on the last lap pass when Kyle Larson won at Chevy looking for their second straight Daytona 500. Here we come to the line, down the back straight away for the final time, a run by McDowell up here now. Walker's gonna go for it, he advances the 42. He gets the 42 loose. Got the 42 way loose, here he come off turns four. The 2021 Rookie of the Year is in line. He hits the wall. He comes up track. He's in the wall bar. Here they come to line. They're wrecking on back. Tidalin is an NASCAR Cup Series winner. He wins the Daytona 500. What a win for Ty Dillon. Wins it for Petty GMS. My lord. Awesome win there by Ty Dillon. Rest of your field there. Zlowski gets 23rd. They're on back. Finishing last in the Daytona 500 is Cody Ware. That race was just awesome. Well, with that, that ends the race weekend. And congratulations to Ty Dillon. And the next race on the NASCAR Cup Series schedule, it's the second race of the year, will be the Wise Power 400 at the Auto Club Speedway. It'll be nice, sunny, and 75 there as well. Congratulations to our dates on a 500 winner, Ty Dillon. Next race, we'll go to Auto Club. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.